Today I'm going to share with you some heat and sun tolerant herbs. I'm growing all of these tropical herbs under the South Florida sun during the summer. They're also perennials, so if you have a food forest garden, these would be great to plant in there too. My name is Melanie and welcome to my channel, Our Tropical Soil, where I talk about growing food in the tropics. If that interests you, then be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below so you won't miss out on any of my weekly uploads. First, I want to share with you lemongrass. I have been growing lemongrass for about a year now. It's a really fragrant plant, so whenever you touch it or cut it, the smells really come out and it smells a lot like lemon. It has both medicinal and culinary purposes. So for medicinal, tea is made to help alleviate a fever and for culinary, it's used to season food and it's used a lot in Thai cooking. This grass also has some ornamental purposes. It's a clumping grass, so it won't spread out far. It'll just grow in a clump. And then it has these beautiful long blades that flow in the wind. So there are two parts of the lemongrass that are used, which are the leaves that you would just cut and use these, or you would cut the stalk. So the stalk is really close to the soil, so you wanna cut as close to the soil as possible, and then you'd have the stalk. And the outer part is very tough, so you'd have to remove it and just use the inner part to cook with. Another great use that I have found for the lemongrass is as a biomass plant for chop and drop. So it grows really, really fast and it produces all these blades and these stems. So you can cut it back every couple of months and use it for mulch. So I think that's why it fits really well in a food forest garden because apart from it being perennial, you can also use it to add nutrients back into your soil. It's propagated in two ways so one is by seed and the other one is by division i propagated mine by seed but i'm also doing some by division now that i already have the plants by seed it's a little bit slow to start off and with division it's a lot faster because you already would have a, a small clump with roots so the production is a lot faster the next heat and sun tolerant herb i wanted to share with you is garlic chives You've probably heard about garlic chives. They are a bit more common than lemongrass. And these plants are really small. They only get about a couple inches tall and they grow in these bunches. And they're really good for bordering plants because they stay so small. They're used in cooking. It has a garlicky, mild flavor. So it's really good to eat it raw, just chop it up and then put it in whatever dish you want. It also produces these ornamental flower stalks that it shoots up a stalk high up and it's probably about two feet tall while the plant is small, the stalk is high up. And one thing that people have an issue with is that the flowers will eventually produce seeds and then the seeds can get everywhere and it can become kind of invasive. But if you pinch off the flowers before or just spread the seeds in an area where you want them in, then you really wouldn't have that problem. And this is a perennial plant, and it'll also sell seed, so you could end up with a lot of garlic chives. But since it is so small, I feel like it doesn't pose that big of an invasive issue in a food forest garden. Besides the seeds, they can also be propagated by divisions, so the bunches spread just a little bit, they get bigger, and then you can pull it up and divide it and then put them somewhere else. The third tropical herb I wanted to show you is African blue basil. So African blue basil has a very strong basil smell and taste way stronger than the common basil that you find at the store. And it's used in cooking so when you do use it you want to use less because the basil flavor is very strong besides being used for cooking it's also a beautiful ornamental plant it grows into this giant bush with these beautiful dark green leaves and it has these beautiful little flowers that the bees absolutely love so it's great to plant in a garden in intercropping or as a companion plant because it will attract so many beneficial insects 
and all the bees will come visit your African blue basil and then they'll just hop on over to the other plants and pollinate all your other plants that you have planted. The other benefit is that it does produce flowers the whole year in a mild climate. So you'll constantly get that beneficial insect benefit. African blue basil is propagated by cutting. So you would do cuttings of the tips a bit longer than this and propagate it that way. The last heat and sun tolerant herb I wanted to share with you is culantro. So culantro is spelled like cilantro, but instead of C-I, it's C-U. This plant smells and tastes a lot like cilantro, but it's nowhere near the same thing as cilantro. It's used in cooking, especially in Latin America and in Asian cooking. My plants are still pretty young, so I haven't been able to harvest too many leaves, but here is a picture of a mature plant that's getting ready to flower and set seeds. Unfortunately, the culantro is not a perennial plant, but it does prolifically self-seed. So you could plant this in your food forest garden and have it all the time as it's always going to be self-seeding for you. Another benefit is that it is a small plant similar in size to garlic chives, so you can use it on borders or tuck it in wherever you have a little bit of space. The last tropical herb I wanted to share with you is Cuban oregano. So Cuban oregano is not a sun-loving herb. It is very shade tolerant. It loves the shade and it grows beautifully in the shade. It can take some sun, but it really likes the shade. So this plant has both culinary and medicinal uses. They make a tea out of it to help alleviate sore throats and coughs. And it's also used in cooking. This herb has a very similar smell and flavor to the traditional oregano and it's also used very often in Cuba so that's how it's got its name, Cuban oregano. Two benefits of this plant is that it is very heat tolerant and that it's also a perennial so it would do great in an understory setting in your food forest because it loves the shade. It's in the mint family so it kind of grows like mint in the sense that it sprawls a little bit so it'll grow as a bush and then put out these long stems that will flop over and they might root so maybe over time you can get cuban oregano to grow as a ground cover over a large area but if not it's not really a problem it won't take over your garden like mint does i also have a plant profile post on my blog about cuban oregano so i'm going to leave the link down below so you can check that out and i also made a video talking about the different ways you can propagate Cuban oregano. So I'm going to link it up here and I'm also going to put the link down below in the description. If you're growing any heat and sun tolerant herbs that I haven't mentioned, then let me know down below in the comments what they are and what you use them for. Thanks for watching. I post up a video every Friday. So if you want to be sure to watch the next one, then don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you like my video, don't forget to also like it. You can find me on my website, rtropicalsoil.com, or follow me on Instagram at rtropicalsoil, where I post regularly pictures of what I'm growing in my garden.